The cameras will cover any trespass or uh, members of the public or staff in areas they should not be in. The process will be uh, for us to check the camera, is there somebody on the line? Yes, contact the signaller, contact control and then contact the police. So we're now going to put the um, connector on here. Right, once the connector's on, you can power it up. I can plug it in, the connector goes in the bottom there. Um, then we move the cameras around and try to align them. He's going to now raise the pole, right, and then we can see the positions of the um, cameras. Benefits to the customers is obviously from a, a safety perspective. We're trying to prevent trespass, we're trying to prevent uh, antisocial behaviour. Uh, we're, we're trying to protect vulnerable people. The events of that type of activity can lead to operational delays because sometimes the line has to be closed. So in, the, in, in terms of the benefit to the, the network itself, we're mitigating all the, the, the risks with delayed minutes, delayed hours, having to close the line, and ultimately the, the knock-on effect to the, the travelling public um, with the, the, the delays that that brings. These are the video pop-ups that would um, appear on screen when um, an event has happened at the station. We have got anti-trespass alerts set up. So if somebody uh, went past the, the, the threshold, um, an event would um, occur and these would pop up on the screen, we'd get an audible alert and the movable camera would move around to the area of interest. If your family member is, is, is in such a dark place, if there's anything that we can do to stop that, you need safety enhanced cameras because we've been given the heads up, they're down there. If we can save one life, to me, it, it's well worth every penny.